If you are not using uh, my SQL implementation, sorry, just wait five minutes and it will go away. <laughs> so, uh, I work for NWS, we have a obvious consultancy company in Belgium and we work in the complete Europe. So, MySQL application. So, MySQL application comes in multiple uh, forms. You can have master, 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 slave, master, slave, slave, master, slave, slave. So, you really have a lot of uh, freedom there to. Uh, do your MySQL application, and the way to monitor MySQL, MySQL uh, risk priorities is with the MySQL the exporter. So you uh, you ask the exporter, and then it does a query, that kind of stuff. So that really works very well. So MySQL the exporter is really a good tool. You have a lot of data. You have your complete MySQL configuration. You have a lot of alerting examples in the in the documentation. And in addition to that, for MySQL, you have a set of uh, Grafana dashboards that are really useful, that are made by Verkona. So it's really, really great to use uh, day, day to day. The problem is that when we um, migrate it to Prometheus, then it does not mean that uh, we need to forget the past and to forget what we did uh, in the past. So we had for monitoring the replication, we had PT Heartbeat. So PT Heartbeat is a demand that basically insert every second uh, a row in the database and then on the slave, if you read that uh, timestamp, you know how far you are behind the master. That tool is uh, written in Paris GPL and is part of the Perkana toolkit. Uh, so the monitoring tool that we used before, uh, it did support PT Heartbeat. So moving to a primitive without that would be like a regression. No, I know MySQL has that natively. You can actually see, okay, my, MySQL will try to tell you how much late it is behind master, and there is already a metric for that in the MySQL exporter. But yeah, so there is a number of cases when that value is not great. Like if you have multiple uh, slaves in a chain or, or so, there are all, a couple of uh, MySQL bugs into that value. So PTRB is still useful because it gives you really the end-to-end -end, uh, lag on your uh, slave. So yeah, let's do this. So I opened the pull request on the 20th of February to implement that. And on the 21, it was merged. So it was really, really efficient. Uh, how it works on the Prometheus side is that we run an extra query to check that uh, timestamp. So we don't depend on PTRB directly. So PTRB is like the reference implementation, but you can use anything else if you want. We have three uh, command line flags, and we have two, two metrics, like the timestamp uh, that the MySQL server has now, and the timestamp that is in that uh, add bit table. You can record that lag by just uh, doing the minus between the no minus the store timestamp, and then you can alert on that if you run like to tell you exactly like, if in two minutes my application is not zero, then alert me. Uh, I was also trying to contribute that to the Perkana uh, Grafana dashboard. This is not in yet, so uh, that will take some time, I guess. So basically, if you want to contribute anything to Prometheus, it's really easy. You shouldn't lower your expectation when moving to Prometheus, and if you have great tools, you can have them also uh, in Prometheus. Now, the next step might be to rewrite that Perl tool into Go. So if there are any people who are using MySQL and one that's uh, in a nice small uh, sidecar pod or any container, that kind of sh shit, it's just possible. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. And uh, thank you for having me. Thank you.